What's up, y'all? So this is the live where um, what's the child name? Stunner girl originally went live, and um, she you know started spilling tea then, and it's given sis was being nice. Um, I don't think she liked the fact that Krishan was being ganged up on, and um, she decided to jump in. She was basically saying like when she came out and you know gave the tea on what was going on with them. Nobody really said nothing, but now everybody want to um, bully Krishan, basically, is what she was saying. And she decided to chime in on Krishan and Zeus's escapades. Like I keep telling y'all, and for those that may not be following my other channel, um, I thought Krishan said that she wanted 200000 because she got paid 100000 for the last one. And she tried to meet him in the middle at one fifty. I thought she said that he said yes to the 150 but apparently he did not um he wanted to give her a hundred thousand i would have took the hundred thousand i would have just brought my own security and i know a lot of y'all are saying y'all wouldn't because of the fighting and all that i don't blame you i just wouldn't i i would because i'm gonna bring my own security point blank period krishan ain't scared to fight now maybe she just don't feel like it because i mean after a while like come on now <laughs> i ain't gonna keep fighting either However, um, I'm just saying for the climate of what's going on right now, you know, and she just lost. Well, I don't know if she lost the house or not, but Blueface went to jail, blah, blah, blah. I feel like it's a perfect time for 100000 But my security would be deep, you know what I'm saying? And uh, apparently Krishan felt like she would get jumped and shit like that. So y'all just let me know what y'all think about it down in the comment section below. Child, my allergies is getting to me and I need a Zyrtec. And I ain't been asleep yet. So anyway, here we are. Y'all let me know what you're thinking down in the comment section below. Yeah, you want to make it? I just love my house. My house is so big and beautiful. I got a movie theater and a gym and a pool and a jacuzzi and like five different balconies. I really gotta get my glam room together, y'all. It's just like, I just, I'm not a good decorator. All my clothes is just in here on the flow. Hold on. Oh shit. I really gotta get this together. Like, this is ridiculous. <sighs> Y'all need to help me. I really need a, a um, what's that shit called? The designer. What is the is the word? I got my guest room though. At least I got my guest room together. Fast, are you in here? Okay, wait. I don't really know how the guest room looks right now. Okay, he took the he took the sheet off that I had in here. Guest room, guest room, and connection. Nah, I really want to go to the top. I really never showed y'all my house. I got a fire pit at the top, and it's super big because it's like three levels. It goes all the way at the top. There's a big ass fire pit where you can make s'mores. Let's go to my, let's go to my kitchen. That's what it is. You're so positive. Be all you wanna be. I'm in that song in jail. I learned that song. How about to turn the light on? I learned that song in the bottom of my heart. You know, I got the snacks loaded up, man. You know how we come in. Stop playing with me. You know, I keep a. Uh, uh, uh. I know that's like real food. Okay, anyways, let's get to the real shit. I'm gonna stop playing on live right now. Cause I can make this stand up. I can make this grand, grand kitchen though. That's what you call fucking uh master chef's kitchen in this bitch. Can y'all am I getting good connection? 
I can't do that. So, anyways, let me get in some good light. Okay, what was I talking to y'all about earlier? Are y'all on my Twitter? Who's all here from my Twitter? So, I heard that what I was saying was fiction, that I'm making this shit up. These people are nuts. And I'm really getting tired of these fuckers. Like, y'all don't understand all the sneaky ass shit these bitch ass motherfuckers be doing. Fucking with my Instagram constantly. I literally had to fucking hire. I had to hire a cyber security team. I had to fucking hire a cyber security team to watch over the fucking Instagram. And then it'd be like, this man do that to everybody. Anybody like that do anything, he immediately tries to take the Instagram. Like, what is your obsession with other people's platforms, dude? Like, I just don't understand that. Yeah, I'm gonna take your Instagram. But bitch, I'm still gonna have a mouth. I'm still gonna be me. Still other shit. There's other platforms, TikTok, Twitter, whatever the case may be. But I just feel like a lot of motherfuckers, they just be going based off like, what the fuck y'all see on the internet? <sighs> you feel me? But let me get into it though. So what I was telling y'all about Krishan earlier. When I said he was doing weird shit to her. And he basically left her downstairs. He wasn't trying to let her up in the fucking building. He was mad at her because she didn't come to the grand opening. Mind you, she prayed. It's fucked. So that's why I wasn't feeling that shit that day. And I was up there and I was up there with my brothers and hella people. So my brothers and them, they was already downstairs, like in the front of the building, just down there smoking. And so uh, one of them texted me and they like, yeah, she's down here. Woo -woo. And I'm like, what the fuck? He ain't letting her up type shit. And then he like came past me hella fast. Don't let her up in here. Da -da 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 -da. And I told them to let her up anyways. So my brothers and them got up in the elevator and they let her up. And then it was like, you mad at her cause she didn't come to this grand opening. But yet you sat there and had her damn near kicked out of the fucking Airbnb. Like she got bigger shit to worry about. You feel me? Plus she like fucking pregnant. So it's like, you kicked her out of her Airbnb cause she didn't come to the fucking grand opening. Now you got her basically outside with no Airbnb, outside just waiting. And then she came up there and she was like, no, he just really mad because the nigga be acting like, oh, he be mad if he found out I'm texting Blueface. If I tell, like if they, I guess if they make an announcement, they don't fuck with each other, bro, be all up in the business. So I'm like, damn, so this nigga think he the baby daddy too? The fucking weirdo. Like, and I just be thinking like all these, um, but Krishan, I can honestly say she was, she was pushing about her respect. She didn't really let that man play, play that much, but he was playing that day though. You feel me? But me though, I didn't play with that midget ass bitch at all. Not even a little bit. Hold on, let me go tomorrow. Let me go tomorrow. But yeah, blood really a weirdo though. It's like no other way to put it. And when I post these text messages, that's gonna be the end of that. Like uh, saying fiction. And then it'd be like, do y'all even like remember how I even started to talk about this? Cause it's bitch ass when fucking DJ Academics and was being a motherfucking chatty patty talking about me. So for Fuckers that be like, oh, they be ah, ah. No, I really just be replying to the fuckers. They really be bothering the fuck out of me. <sighs> I'm, ooh, I'm overweight. I just got so tired walking up the steps. I like my eyelashes. But yeah, it be like motherfucker just be replying to that shit. Like. But fucking Natalie, she didn't have no reason to just go up in an uh, interview and just be talking about me. 
Like, bitch, you got a whole new cast. Why are you still talking about me, girl? Why? Why are you still talking about me? I need you to stay in pocket. When I talk, you bitches don't fucking talk. Y'all bitches notice the fucking quiet. Have you seen anybody uh, post today after I said something? No. Have you seen a bitch come on Twitter, Instagram, say anything about anything I said? Bitches don't even defend their name. I'm going to defend my name, though. Since I said something. But when Krishan was talking, it was 10 bitches running to the fucking phone popping it. Exactly. Bitch, you hoes know to stay in the fucking pocket. Y'all hoes know to stay in pocket. Like, bitch. Little 304s and things, you feel me? You bitches know not to say nothing to me. You bitches know not even to defend the fucking selves. Ain't that some funny ass shit? Now, y'all know if I was any other bitch, these bitches will argue with random fans. These bitches will argue with a two-year-old child. But when I say something, everybody shut the fuck up. Exactly. You bitches shut the fuck up. Why? Bitch, because I stood on my respect, bitch. You can't name a time I let that two-foot-tall shrimp bitch ever play with me talk to me crazy nothing the only time the motherfucker really said something and he was popping it over the phone talking about oh i'm i still gotta i'm still gonna edit your fights i'm gonna make you look bad I'm gonna get that, 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 that. that's why when the um when the trailer came out and i remember everybody was so confused on the internet like i know stunner girl and i own on the show going out like that Y'all see how they try to edit that shit, and then when you watch the show, it was a whole different ball game. But y'all ever noticed, like, in any of my fights, when I was getting hits, they would zoom the camera way the fuck out? Or how they magically took out me throwing the microphone at the bitch at the auditions? Y'all don't, it ain't clicking to y'all. We was literally beefed up with these people the whole fucking season. And then it'd be crazy for a motherfucker to sit up and discredit a bitch like me. When, if y'all go back and take me out of every other fucking scene that's on the fucking show, wouldn't be no show. I'm the reason why niggas watch the show. Motherfuckers wasn't watching, niggas wasn't watching the show. And then Krishan in her season, she did her thing. That shit, that show was ass cheeks before me or her was even on there. So I understand why motherfuckers is popping it and want to, and it's crazy too. Motherfuckers don't pop it out loud about me. They do sneaky shit. Try to blackball me. Try to talk about me. Uh, get they motherfuckers a, a higher fucking thousands of bots. Come fuck with my pages. Just weird ass shit like that. Like go in interviews and just run a mouth. I barely just did an interview. Wait, when I when I went on no jumper, when was that? Like a month ago. That's like. And it feels like a year later. I waited hell long to do an interview. But no, that bitch ass nigga was stun a girl, 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 stun a girl. And that's why I be like, how y'all gonna sit up and just keep saying, oh, bitch, I don't care. I'm gonna always defend the fucking name, period. Because niggas is hoes. Niggas is coochie. And I would never let a um two foot tall bitch play with me. Not now, not ever. You hear me, though? I wish I could go live with y'all. How many people can I bring on my live? I want to bring, like, four screens. Four, four, four. Four screens on the live. He rubbing my feet, feeding me grass. Oh, yeah, but look, the text messages that I got in my phone... Now, these are the text messages about the clap. You know, the clap, 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 city, bitch. Clap, clap, city, bitch. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Clap, clap, city, bitch. Clap, city, bitch. Clap, clap. So, I text the bitch, right? I text the bitch. And I told her the other bitch had the clap and she needed to be careful. And then the bitch was like, 
um, I go to the doctors all the time. She was like, but that fucking somebody maybe fucking her boyfriend, so I'm not sure. Da -da 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 -da. Like, and that's how nice I was, bitch. I didn't even, I didn't even say who had the clap. Y'all just, bitch, y'all like told on yourself. I didn't even say you bitches' names. I just said blood was giving out the clap. I never said he gave the clap to and put a name on it. I never did it. Because I didn't even want to be that mean. Like, I'm really nice. Like, you know, I'm nice until they fuck with me. Then I'm a Even pointed at the whole time they was raising a rat. Where's my remote? I'm so mad because I f put some makeup on my chemical pill and it's just messing with my face. They told me this chemical pill shit was supposed to be done in a mother week and the shit is still mother going. I just don't understand this. Literally, my face was peeling with makeup. Uh, ah. Anyways, y'all. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why um, this lady mentioning me. And y'all know it's so crazy because I spared a lot of those girls. I spared, I, no matter of fact, I literally spared them. I'm talking about when I post videos of niggas slapping ass cheeks, I crop bitches out. So I don't know why anybody would want to play them games. Y'all remember when I was, when I was, um, when I was talking out that one time. Everybody was quiet. Silent. I never seen I never seen everybody be quiet like that. Y'all see how Krishan talking and it's like five bitches ganging up on her. When I was talking, everybody was silent. Did nobody say I was lying? Did nobody say a mother thing? All the mother did was go on his story and go, hey, hey, at French Montana party trolling me. That's all the mother did. All the mother did was go to these rappers and talk shit about me. But following in my footsteps, like, it's annoying. Anybody I work with, anybody. I could work with mother Casper. They're going to be right up under them. Stunner girl, stunner girl, stunner girl. Because y'all not hip. Y'all don't know what's current. That's why y'all shows be terrible. Y'all be having some great people, like, that y'all could put on these shows. And y'all just look at followers. And that's sad. Y'all so out of tune and out of touch with what the fuck is really going on that y'all put on a shit show. Literally. Y'all so out of tune and out of touch that y'all literally either A, looking at other networks and taking A people or y'all taking the current people y'all have and putting on they mother whole family lineage line. The friends, the mama, the mother brother. Like, that's how out of touch y'all is. You know what I'm saying? And for a bitch to say, oh, she didn't know about me till auditions. Bitch, you knew about me since I dropped on the record. Bitch, you told me about my blue hair that I had in my head and where I shot my mother video. I didn't even know who the you was. Because I wasn't watching um, Bad Girls Club back in the day. I watched like couple seasons but honestly i don't remember anybody is besides probably the uh claremont twins but anyways yeah so i shouldn't be zeus didn't make me i need to name people that that like got their name from over there like like the bitch really she got her name from their establishment that's the person they literally built up from the ground up that's who they could claim stop claiming me leave me the f alone just leave me alone, please. I don't talk about you people. I only talk about you people when you mother with me. And y'all know the shit that y'all be doing behind closed doors that I don't come on here and say. So, just leave me alone. Because I will flame the f out you bitches. Like, oh God, bitch. I don't even know why bitches is even playing with me. Like, okay, y'all remember the scene, right? 
Remember the scene when I went into the club with um, Natalie and I had on the uh, puff coat? Okay, y'all remember how her and Krishan had gotten into it that day? And she was like, bitch, you're gonna go in there and make my f money. I'm not gonna do shit. Oh. Bitch, as soon as we got up in there, this bitch really tried to sit up in the back with me like she wasn't finna do shit. That man must have came over there and yanked that mother mic like mother I and the bitch was Tina. Get the f up, bitch. Stand the f up right now, bitch. You don't got a mother choice. And I'm just sitting next to her like, oh no. Oh no. Steve Urkel, baby, you would have been boop, boop, boop. Punched in that lip. Boy, she was like, no. He was like, get up, bitch. I'm not playing. I'm talking about, I'm talking about nose to nose with the chin to chin. Bitch, chin bigger than his, but they was chin to chin, literally. Like, he's like, get the fuck up, bitch. You're gonna get up and you're gonna, why the fuck are you even playing with me right now? You know, you're like little man syndrome. So he's like, he's like, why are you even playing with me right now? Voice getting all deep, bitch. The voice ain't even like that. Told the bitch, get the fuck up. These is the words verbatim. Get the fuck up, bitch. I don't know who the fuck you think you're playing with. Bitch, you got a mother show to run, bitch. Make me my mother money, bitch. Go grab the mother mic, bitch. And get up there and perform, bitch. You're not even a mother rapper. You know what that bitch did? Got her bitch ass up. And I ain't even gonna lie, respected blood gangsta after that. I'm like, okay, I'm my mama. You see, that's why I could bring the thugs out with blood, cause he gonna put them hoes in mother check. Like, especially on my mother birthday, bruh. Bitch, sit down. Bitch, get out the section. I remember one of them bitches stepped on my nail, bruh. He must have fried that bitch. Bitch, your mother doing too much. <laughs> But you know what? To each his own. You know, she the type of bitch that need a pimp, though. You feel me? Like, I feel like the nigga bring out the best in her. So that's a good situation for her, actually. I feel like a bitch like that, she a f***ing dean bat. Like, she gotta get yelled at and put in her place. I feel like it gets the bitch pussy wet or something. But, um, bitch, don't act like the nigga ain't over there treating you bitches like the mother with gum on the ground and then it would be so funny too how everybody trying to come out like they treat us so good we're in black cars we have this we have that like you bitches checks you bitches for y'all first seasons was getting paid 8k 13 i know shit ain't changed bitch i know shit didn't just change within a mother month like stop playing on this mother app bitch i told y'all i was the highest paid i posted my contract i got my bag i was there for a day everybody came off the show set up i mean not sh i mean the, the fans of that show sterner girls lying she didn't get now bitches is coming out post your contract bitch you could bleep out all the shit post where the money how much money you're getting because anything you bitches is getting is for free they not paying for BBLs, teeth. They not paying for that shit. So it's not coming out the check. They're not paying those girls good for all the fighting, for all the fighting and drama, and just the the treatment, how they getting talked to. No, 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 bitch. So it's like I don't know, and it's just lies too. I know I got a chemical pill. I told y'all that. I put makeup on my mother's face to go do my show and it just fucked me up. Like, it fucked me up bad and I'm so mad about it. But anyways, yeah, so all that should be capped. It was just like two last season. I remember when y'all kept saying like, oh, you, uh, the bitch Piggy's crying over Stunner Girl. The bitch wasn't crying over me. She was crying over that nigga. She was crying over that nigga. Y'all thought I made the bitch cry. I wasn't the one that made the bitch cry. Nigga told the bitch, stop talking to Stunner or you're fired. Bitch, you're annoying. You don't fit in, bitch. And I want you gone. Bitch was, oh, boo-hoo, boo-hoo, bitch. That's why in that outside scene, y'all remember the outside scene? 
before she uh sneaked me and they cut out what the f I said so it sounded like I said some gibberish shit like oh that's why they want to f you or they I mean, they made me say something stupid but what I really said what made what made the gorilla bitch jump I really said your boss don't even like you he wants to fire you that bitch <gasps> bitch was ready to mother kill herself and it's like I don't understand like for the price of fame and a little bit of money is like bitch you wanted to fight me because I said the nigga don't want to fire you bitch I'm helping you out you already know this but for the price of fame and all that that's how y'all choose to get treated and Krishan ain't lying she's not she's not they was doing my girl bad when she was pregnant like seriously I had to have my people step in a couple times like come on now like I don't be understanding this shit. But, you know, I'm going to continue on doing what I'm doing. I was recording right now. I'll get back on live in like 30 minutes. Toodles.